Okay, here comes the stock market analysis, uh, S&P 500 and the Dow Jones. I'm actually going to show the SPY, not the SPX. And if you want to get our full analysis with all of our charts, uh, all of our indicators, uh, all of uh, the great work that Matt does every single day, you get the SIR daily. This is amazing, available to level one through level four members. If you're a new member or a free member, you want to upgrade to this three months, every single day, massive information, all of our charts and indicators on the three indexes that we show, that's $45 for three months. Unbelievable amount of information you're going to get. So if you're not a member now, try this and you will really get a sense for the kind of work that we do. Uh, become a level one member and get that SIR daily. All right, so let's take a look at these charts as we're going to look at SPY to start. For newcomers, um, this is cycle analysis, and it is just loaded with information. And when we look at the rhythmic motions in the market, the heartbeat of the market, on the bottom are the cycle brackets, and those show you the rhythmic motion. A cycle is measured from a trough to a trough, and there is common uh, uh, rhythmic action in there as you see the low here and then the low here and then the low here and then here coming up. You can see that um, the formations that it makes gives us such important information. In other words, when this rally came and it peaked early on that abandoned baby, gave you a left-hand translation, broke under this level, and then told us it was going to decline through this time frame. In this case, it made a beautiful positive cycle with almost no time to decline. It told us it was going to make another high, and you can see that. Now this has broken that low, and a bottom is due right over here. And that is suggestive of the fact that when we get into the next rising phase, like right over here and right over here, and right over here and right over here, the next rising phase is going to give you a rally. Now, when you get a negative shape that you have right in here, as we teach in our cycle analysis workshop, and you can learn about that by going to our workshop page, then uh, you will get the sense for uh, why we believe that this bottom is coming in here and that we're going to get a rally. VIX is due to make a trough in late January. In other words, the low in the VIX is expected to be somewhere third, four, fourth week of January. That's helping us project these rallies in here. So we're projecting January to get up to 397 to 403. That is based on the uh, uh, the low basically being made in here. It might come down and test it in the next couple days, but we do think, uh, as I said in my commentary in the beginning of the show, that it was likely that you would and see some sizable up move in here and again our projection 397 to 403 the projection was up to 415 originally but because of this breakdown in here it lowers the odds of that i would say where the odds were 65 to 75 percent of getting up here that is now more like about 30 percent and more like that 60 70 percent probability is into these zones right over here which would not make a high as high as this cycle. Note in here that as of Jan De uh, December 23rd, it's about 21% from its all-time high. And this, between these two blue uh, verticals, is where the cycle trough is due to move up. The reason I'm giving you this 21% from the all-time high is because I'm going to show you the Dow Jones Industrial Average in a moment. But again, let's look at these key cyclical movements. This right over here, a positive cycle. In this yellow area is where the corrective phase is, and it would have fallen very hard if there was more time. In this case, there was more time, and in this yellow area right over here, it came down hard and broke that. In this case, somewhere out over here, in about the third to fourth week of January, it sets up that next big decline. Uh, which we think is going to ultimately have an additional cycle out over here, take it out into March with lower lows out there. So I'm just giving you uh, the short-term analysis here, but talking about that. So this rally right in here, expecting 397 to 403 on SPY coming sometime in January. That could give you some decent long side trades. And I want to comment that 
Dow and Dow stocks are much stronger. And if you're looking for stocks that are buys, look there, except maybe for the tech stocks, which still have, I think, risk, as we talked about earlier in the show. So we're looking at the Dow. Uh, you can see in here that, again, we were looking for a low to come here in these coming days. Now, what I want you to notice is while the, the S&P 500 was down 21% from its all-time high, the Dow was only down 11.3%. Now, when I give my end of the year show, when I give that analysis, it's going to show that the Dow is likely to do much better coming into middle of next year than the S&P 500, as it's been doing right in here. And I think that the money is really flowing into those big old stocks and the industrials and and uh, the uh, uh pharmaceuticals and some of those uh, medical insurance companies, those are uh, the ones that the money is moving into and maybe even to some of the financials. Uh, and that's going to make the dollar continue to be stronger. For now, though, the pattern is similar. As you can see, it broke down under that low and is in a negative configuration in here. You can see in here that the slim ribbon PO on the bottom, when it's green, it reflects the slim ribbon. When it gives you the green arrows, it tells you, about upside resumptions, as you could see right in here, and that now turned red. So for this to then be positive again, this would then need to turn green. Let's just take a look here a little closer, and we'll see in here what our upside projections are, and that is that uh, we're going to see that because of this uh, VIX trough that's due uh, in uh, somewhere around late January, we expect to get rallies up in here to mid to late January. The Dow numbers here are around uh, 33,850 uh, to 34,250 right in here. That's what we expect this low to get made and then uh, be moving to the upside again here into January and then moving down again. So while the Dow is much stronger than the S&P 500 on an intermediate basis, it is now pretty much lining up with it. And that says to us that the same patterns pretty much exist in here that do in the S&P 500 at the moment, where it trades down into this time frame right over here. I'm just going to highlight that cycle for you to see, which is early February. And then the next cycle, which you can't see out over here, takes you into sometime around late March, which is where we think that ultimately the intermediate low is going to be made. So uh, a Dow index that is much stronger than the market pretty much in a line with the S&P 500 right now, targeting 33,850 to 34,250 up into that January time frame, uh, and then uh, beginning to move down again in this uh, very, uh, very interesting period as we get into the end of the year. And what I think will be another potential fake upside move uh, for the stock market uh, up into January. We've had like five of those big upside moves. And this one in here very well could be in the 6 to 8% uh, to the upside for these indexes. Uh, and uh, though the Dow has been much stronger than the S&P 500, it's kind of an alignment right now. Uh, and uh, again, I think I like the Dow stocks better. Uh, those stocks uh, for the move uh, at, uh, maybe into mid-year of next year, but I'm jumping the gun in here and we'll talk about that in another show. So that's a look at the stock market. Don't forget, the uh, Give the Gift of Vast Slim has been extended. Uh, you buy one of these uh, memberships uh, for yourself or to give the gift. It's non-recurring. It won't be renewed. You'll have to renew that. Uh, and we're going to send you an Amazon gift card. Go to the top of the Ask Slim page. Uh, click the Learn More button, and you'll learn all about how to uh, become an Ask Slim member for the lowest prices of the year.